Thursday to find out why kids kill. To buy a new home without talking to the bank. Today on Iowa's at 5.36 and 6.30. Previously on General Hospital. Want to stay in town? Yeah, just till the summer. Mom, listen to you. you. think I'm going to tell Monica that it's okay for you to hang out with Juan? Do you have any idea what it's like to care about someone that the rest of the world hates? At least we've got something to celebrate. A healthy grandson, no matter what his name is. We're doing everything we can to uh, have a healthy baby. Yeah. Your sister? Oh, Jason, I am so glad I found you. Look, I really, really need your help. I am desperate. Remember when you agreed to uh, have that conversation with my mom about me dating Juan? Oh, uh, no, no. I remember saying that if Monica asked, I would tell her that I think you have a right to your own choices. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I need you to have that conversation with her immediately. Look, even though Juan's father thinks that he's mature enough to stay in Port Charles for the summer, my parents still won't let me near him. I even had Grandmother invite him over for dinner last night so that he could meet the whole family, and... Okay. It was a disaster. Yeah. Which makes you my last hope. Please, Jason. Please, please, will you just uh. talk to Mom and tell her that I should be able to date whoever I want, including Juan, or especially Juan. Or just make sure you get the Juan part in there, okay? Come on, you have to open it now. Come on. Okay, open it. Oh, jeez, you're one of those. No, come on, just open it. Open it. Come on. Come on. Go on. Ta-da. You did this? It's my first oil. Is it okay? Are you kidding? This is magnificent. You're sitting on some talent. Oh, not really. Except maybe as a sneak. You would not believe how hard it was for me to pull this off without you finding out. Couldn't paint in my bedroom because I was afraid you were going to come through my window any second. So I had to paint downstairs in the living room with the drapes closed. Oh, and you see, um, these are... Any musical notes. Not just any arbitrary musical notes. That's the first chord of a song you wrote for me. I know because I went to the music teacher and I played the first part of the tape for her. Don't worry, I stopped it before you started to sing. And she helped me transcribe it. I'm completely blown away. <laughs> Page me? Oh, hi, yes. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you something about Lucas's game today. Uh, you're going, aren't you? Well, I was on my way. Well, don't panic. I mean, I haven't changed my mind or anything. Your being there really means a lot to him. And <sighs> don't think that I haven't missed the way he 
searches for your face in the stands before the start of every game. And I know truly happy he's been since I've been letting you visit. Which is why I've decided to take a leap of faith and ask you if you would like to take him to his game today without me. Just me and Lucas? Yeah. I'm going to trust you with the most precious thing I have. I've seen you more in the last 24 hours than I have in the last two weeks. Should I take that as a sign? Take it as a sign that I missed you. I missed you too. General Hospital, the NFL, the United Way, and you. The power of teamwork. You know, sure, I can drive Lucas to the game. I just know what a huge concession on your part this is. And, and if there's anything that I've done to uh, pressure you into this uh, offer or you feel obligated or anything. No, no you haven't. If it's too soon, I don't mind the supervised visits. Honestly, I'm a mother. And I'm always going to feel more comfortable when my child is within eyesight. But Lucas would really enjoy some time alone with you. And I think it'll be okay. No, it, it will be. I, I swear. I, mean, I know that Lucas on the outside comes off as unscathed. But deep down, I realize that I've left some scars. And we have a lot of work to do together. Uh, rebuilding and, uh, in my case, re-earning his trust and your trust. And I just want to thank you for the chance. Tony, I never wanted to deprive Lucas of his father. I just wanted to make sure that you were the father he needed you to be. Hey, Dad. Hi, hey, honey. Sport. Thank you, Penny. No problem. <laughs> you going to my game? Well, you know it. Good. But we have to go or I'm going to be late. Well, you know, honey, I was thinking, if it's all right with you, maybe your dad could take you to your game today because Tammy's not here and I need to work. So just me and you. Is that okay with you? You mean it? Mm-hmm. All right, this is cool. But we have to go, because if I miss warm-up, Coach won't let me play the first two innings. Oh, that coach is evil, isn't he? <laughs> me. Okay, we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye, Annie. Have fun. Jason, it's your fault that my parents won't let me see Juan. And how do you figure that? Well, because of Sonny. Because they blame Sonny for you leaving. Look, they have to blame someone, otherwise they might have to look at what they've done wrong, and God knows they're not going to do that. So it's Sonny's fault that you left, and they're afraid that Juan's going to start working for him. You know, he might get shot or something will happen like that. Well, he, Sonny's not having anything to do with Juan. He wants him back in Puerto Rico. Mom and Dad don't care about what's really happening. Don't you understand? They have created this sinister, dangerous Juan only in their minds. Sonny's puppet. Last night at dinner, they started saying these mean things about Sonny. Juan jumped to his defense. Then everyone started yelling at all the progress that we had made to show that Juan was a good person. It went down the drain. What was he supposed to do? Just sit there and, and let them diss Sonny? That's good. It's a nice try, but I, I still think he's a jerk. You think that because he's made some lousy choices about impressing Sonny. Jason, haven't you made bad choices? You know, there's a lot of people that think that you and Robin should have never been together. Robin and I were both adults. Technicality. I mean, you can't tell me now that, that if you were both 16, you would have said, hey, there are some people that disapprove of us, so we're going to wait until they do or until we turn 18. Jason, when you want to be with someone, when you want to see them, you do. Everybody thinks of me and Juan as kids, and like our feelings don't count because we're young. But how can you use the age thing? I mean, as if when we turn 18, we're going to magically become mature adults. How you and Robin felt about each other was no one else's business. How Juan and I feel about each other is no one else's business. I don't understand the whole put your life away until you're an adult. I want to live now. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure 
My opinion doesn't count for as much as you think. But I'll, I'll do what I can. If... Now, you have to promise me something. Anything. But you have to be careful. Okay, when you meet someone new and you care about them, no. no, you think how you feel is never going to change. It would only get better, but sometimes... stuff happens you never planned on. So don't go so crazy over this guy that you're going to get yourself hurt. Okay. I promise I won't. All right, then I'll take a stab at it with Monica. You are only the best. <laughs> well, I can see how you think so, considering I just uh, agreed to do what you want. Yeah. Jenny. Oh, uh, bad time? I uh, know. We're finished. Thank you. I owe you. Mm-hmm. Big time. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Are we expecting Mr. Corinthos to join us? Uh, actually, Sonny has something else to take care of. Oh. Well, no problem. I'm sure you can handle this. This sunlight thing, you know, maybe I can get used to it. Are there any other activities you're ready to try again? What activities do you have in mind? It's exhilarating. It makes my heart pound. It makes me forget that the rest of the world is out there. I really loved taking a ride on your speedboat. This time I'll even drive. My speedboat, huh? <laughs> Aren't you the one who's always standing next to me, yelling in my ear to go faster? I let you drive, you're gonna flip the boat. No way. My hands are strong as a rock. Oh, yeah? All right, if it's uh, more dry, I'll have somebody bring the boat around. But I will warn you that if you get a ticket, it, it's going to be your responsibility. I'm sure Taggart's already warned the Harbor Patrol to give my boat special attention anyway, so. Wait, wait, wait. I need to tell you something. Taggart came to visit me a couple of days ago. About what? He asked me to give you a message. A couple of days? Well, how, how, how come you had it? Because of what you just did. The second I mentioned Taggart, all the joy goes right out of your face. Forgive me for wanting to see you smile a little bit. Let me tell you, you, you need to tell me exactly what Taggart said, and I'll make sure he never comes near you again. Drawing. Nothing, it's just a sketch. It's not very good. Well, you look happy. Your dinner date with Juan last night must have gone okay. Actually, it was a complete disaster. So this is you being relieved that you never have to see him again? No, this is me with a backup plan. If you're here to see Mr. Morgan, he's in Mr. Corinthos' apartment. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, I am. I'll tell him you're here. Okay, thank you. Hey. Come on in. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, this is Benny Abrams. Yes, I, uh, I know. We met at Michael's Christening. Good memory. A pleasure to see you again, Dr. Quartermain. Um, so, thanks for yeah. meeting with me, thanks. and I'll take care of that right okay. away. Thank you. I, uh, <clears throat> I called the warehouse, and they said you were here, so I just took a chance. Is everything all right? Um, is, is Sonny here? Maybe we should go to your place. Uh, no, he's, he's out. 
Oh, well, I, I assumed he was around. There's his accountant. Yeah, uh, Benny works for both of us. At the coffee warehouse? That's one of his areas. Uh, well, um... Has Emily mentioned anything to you about this young man she seems to be attracted to, this Juan? Yeah, she's mentioned him. Well, I need your help. I mean, she trusts you, she trusts your judgment, and, uh... I need you to tell her to stay away from Juan. Sonny. If this man, Faison, is as dangerous as Taggart says he is, you could be in a lot of trouble. First rule of dealing with Taggart, ignore whatever he tells you. I really don't think this is Taggart pursuing his vendetta. I really think he needs your help this time. He also promised you would get total immunity. I don't even know this Faison person. And as far as immunity, Taggart's a cop, a detective. He can't offer me squat. He doesn't have the authority. That's the DA. He's just playing with your head. If Faison contacts me, I will deal with him. But I don't want you involved. If it has to do with Taggart, it has nothing to do with you. Yes, it does. I'm already involved because I care about you. Hey, but if you care about me, then, then, then do what I'd say and stay out of it. Sonny, I, I'm not in anything. I'm just delivering a message. This is what they do. Who? Cop, staggered. He's using you to get to me. You still want to go on a boat? Sure, why not? Long time no see. Obviously, you're better. And not that it matters much to you, does it? And you can even swing by the hospital to see how I was doing? Why? Yeah, I, I, no, excuse me. Yeah, she tried to explain. She told me something about you steering clear for my sake. I don't really understand how that works, but apparently you've got her believing it, so I guess I should believe it too, huh? You know what, just for your information, I never said anything to the cops about who beat me up. So maybe now I've proven to you that... <laughs> I'll tell you what it proves. It proves you're a dumb kid who shouldn't be anywhere near me. If it's real chicken your dog wants, it's prime you want. Because high-quality chicken is the primary ingredient in Pedigree Prime. There's a body wash that does more than just moisturize. Only... I don't know what your father was thinking, leaving you here instead of taking you back to Puerto Rico, but I got better... Th I got better things to do than waste my time and manpower cleaning up after a stupid kid who's stupid enough to go messing with Marino. Sonny, you know, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. You're not part of my life. And you never will be. Hey, what's going on out here? Nothing's going on. Nothing ever will. I see that now. Juan, wait. Here, Bobby, this should cover the damage. No, I, no Sonny, that's okay. There's, there's really not much damage. I, I came out because of the noise. I'm sorry, Paula. I, I shouldn't have yelled. I was yelling too much, and I'm, it's not going to happen again. I'm sorry. Do you want to take a rain check on the, on the boat? Excuse me. What just happened? I'd have to say a complete and utter failure to communicate. Ever since uh, Emily has really, really known Juan, she's a different person. She's secretive, she's defiant. 
I just can't help thinking about the time she was on drugs. She's not. She's not using. Well, I, I know that now, but I am convinced that Juan is a really bad influence. Oh, my God, almost from the moment he got to Port Charles, he ended up in the emergency room fighting for his life. And who brought him in? Your sister. Now, she says she didn't see anything but Jason Wood if she <clears throat> did. Uh, uh, she listens to you. Monica, you, you know I hate people telling me to how to live my life. I'm, I'm not going to try to tell Emily how to live hers. What if you knew Michael was associating with somebody that might be a bad influence or might be harmful to him? You would step in and stop it, wouldn't you? It's, it's not up to me what Michael does anymore. No, that, that's not what I asked. I would asked if you would stop it for Michael. I want the same thing for Emily. Jason, I'm... Look, I know no matter what you say, your answer would be you would step in for Michael. Emily likes this guy. Okay? If she has to fight you or the whole family, she will. See, I get now that you were trying to help after the accident. But at the time, all I could feel was trapped. You kept telling me, oh, you're going to do this for my own good. I felt like a prisoner. Until the only thing I could do was cut you off. I, I don't think that would be good for Emily. I think that she still needs you now. Yeah, maybe you should just try listening to her. If she if she thinks Juan is decent, maybe maybe he is. I I just couldn't bear to lose Emily the way I lost you. You didn't lose me. I'm right here. Um, you go ahead, you get that. Thank you. Yeah. It's Bobby. I'm at Kelly's. Is there any way you could come by? Uh, what's wrong? I'd like to speak to you about whatever is going on between Sonny and Juan Santiago. Jason is the key. But I thought your family hates Jason. Why are they going to listen if he says you can see Juan? It's complicated. Basically, my mom trusts Jason. And, well, if she says something's all right, then eventually my father's going to have to agree. And then grandfather's going to cave. And you really like him. Every time he looks at me, I feel special. And when he kisses you... <laughs> I feel even more special. <laughs> I've never felt this way about anyone before, you know? Then don't let go of it. When you find somebody who's really important to you, you should do whatever it takes to be with them. Yeah. I feel like it's finally my chance that, you know, I, I've found somebody and I, I don't want to lose him. I'm happy for you. I gotta get to work. You wanna walk with me? Uh, no, I'm gonna stay here, but if you happen to see a certain dark-haired boy, I will mention that I saw you down at the dock. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, looks like I'm not gonna have to. See ya. See ya. Hey, what's up? Come sit down. <gasps> Wait till I tell you this. I think I have finally found a way to convince my parents to let us be together. I'm not sure if it matters anymore. Ah, that smell! Someone refill that Glade plug-in! For lasting freshness, don't forget to refill your Glade plug-ins. Plug it in! Plug it in! Finally, there's a big... What do you mean it doesn't matter? Do you not want to see me anymore? No. It's not what I meant. It's just... I'm not sure what the future is. It's the summer. I came here to see Sunny. To 
get to know my father. But he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. And every time he sees me, he makes it obvious. Did something happen this afternoon? Hi. I'm just dropping off some clinic files for Tony. Oh, uh, listen, uh, I want to, I want to talk about Emily later on. Was she upset after the dinner last night? Well, I don't know. She was still sleeping when I left the house. Look, Monica, she may not like it, but, uh, we are not overreacting to this. That dinner exploded in her face. Juan is obviously fascinated with Sonny Corinthos, and I do not want my daughter dating some criminal in training. I'm not so sure. It's just something occurred to me this afternoon that maybe with all of our parental authority, we managed to miss. Alan, Alan, if we push Emily too far, we could just lose her, just like we lost Jason. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Well, actually, I'm, I'm hoping that you can tell me. I'm inside, I heard a big commotion, I come out, and Sonny is laying into Juan, and the table and the chairs are all turned over. By Sonny? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Jason, I keep telling myself that what's going on between Sonny and Juan is really none of my business. But then I keep getting the feeling that it is business. And I have a problem with that. That boy nearly died from what was clearly a professional meeting. And the entire time he was in ICU, Sonny never left his side. Now that tells me something. That tells me that Sonny felt responsible. And when the police came to Juan and asked him about his assailant, he conveniently couldn't remember a thing. And now this. Jason, if that kid is messed up some way in Sonny's business, then I want to know about it. And I have a right to know about it because he's living in a place that I co-own. I'm going to tell you something. When I first heard about Lucky's death, my first thought was that it had something to do with you or Sonny or the people that you associate with. Now, I know that Lucky's death was not your fault or his, but it could have been. And I don't want anything like that happening again. Hi. Yeah, it's urgent. No, no, he's, he's not hurt, and Juan's not in any physical danger, but I need to speak to Mr. Santiago about his son right now. Well, can you give him that? Gracias. <sighs> what? Well, yeah. Hannah Scott? All right. Sorry, I can't do this right now. I'm sorry, too, because I'm not leaving. Mother, son. Woodstock, stock exchange. Flower power, power broker. Tie-dye, coat and tie. What brings them to the table? Yeah, please. I, uh, I saw you on the pier. You were, you were sketching. I didn't, didn't want to interrupt. Please. Thank you. Do you want anything to eat? No, this is great, thanks. You okay? I'm fine. Just busy. Excuse me.
Is Juan working for Sonny? No, he's not involved in Sonny's business in any way. Well, good. Because he shouldn't be. He's young. Well, I, don't, I don't see that happening. Is he involved in anything that, if you were me, you'd want to know about? Not that I'm aware of. Good. You waiting for someone? Yeah. Well, actually, um, I let Tony take Lucas to his game without me for the first time, and I kind of figured uh, they'd be back by what now. What about the restraining order? Tony's been trying so hard to make up for last year. And you know, it's like he'd do almost anything right now to get any amount of time at all with his son. And I think it's been really good for Lucas, because he misses his dad. You think, you think Michael misses me? Yes, I do. Yeah, you know, I, I thought about that a lot before I... I, I just, I just hope by the time he's Lucas's age, he won't even remember me. You want my two cents? Sure. The first five years of a child's life is where all of the groundwork is laid. And they say that the first three years is even more important. Now, Michael had you solidly for what? A year and a half? And during that time, Jason, you were absolutely devoted to him. You willingly changed your life. I never saw you make a decision without considering Michael first. And now he's with the Quartermains and Carly, who I love her dearly, but, as we both know, is extremely challenged when it comes to putting anyone other than herself first. So how can he not miss you? And how can he not, somewhere deep in his soul, remember it? Hey, you guys. How was the game? I dropped the ball, so oh. we lost. Honey, I'm so sorry. Was it the last play? Yes. Mm. Well, no game is won or lost on a single play. Well, you know your dad's right about that. Only two things really matter. Did you try your best, or did you have fun? I dropped the ball. Well, yeah, honey, but, you know, were you goofing off when you dropped it, or were you doing the best you could do? No, he was scrambling. You should have seen him. Listen, you did the best that you could, and that's all that matters, aside from having fun. You're just saying that because you're my dad. No, I'm saying it because it's true. But as your dad, I also want you to know that I'm very happy that my son played seven innings as hard as he could. That makes me really proud. You know what I liked about the game? You were there. I thought we agreed that Juan was a bad influence on Emily. Well, uh, I'm changing my mind. Why? Because he's been to Rome and he likes the opera? Because I think that maybe we are overreacting. Look, he has not seduced Emily. He has not given her drugs. He's not encouraged her to go back to using drugs. Yes, he certainly has picked the wrong person to hero worship, but Sonny had told us he's not going to give Juan a job, so it's not our concern. Monica, I don't know where you got your information from, and I don't care, but have you forgotten that Juan was recently in a fight that could have easily cost him his life? And you were also there when Mac questioned Emily, and she sounded exactly like Jason. I saw nothing, I heard nothing, I know nothing. And who's the first person she calls? Sonny. And who does she call to ask permission to come home with her own parents? She calls Sonny. And all of this happened since Juan showed up. No, I don't think we're overreacting, Monica. What happens if she is with Juan when he ticks somebody off? And what if she just drifts away again, Alan? What if she isolates herself from the family, starts using drugs because she feels we don't understand her? And it could happen. She could feel that we're just completely unreasonable. And maybe we are. Really. Maybe it's time for a compromise. All right, look, uh, I can't fight the both of you. If there's going to be a compromise, Monica, it has to be on Emily's part. And if she is going to be allowed to see one, there are going to be rules. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not talking about giving her free reign. I just don't want her to think that we don't understand her and that we're not willing to try. <laughs> yeah. 
must think I'm pathetic. No. Juan, I've seen you beaten up. With your ribs broken. Bleeding all over the place. I would have been bawling my eyes out, but you barely even shed a tear. I think you're a tough guy. Except for when it comes to Sonny. You know, I did exactly what you told me not to. I mouthed off to him. And you went ballistic? Yeah. I mean, I've seen Sonny angry before. Like, every time he sees me, but this time it was different. What did he say? He said that I was some stupid kid who wasn't a part of his life and never would be. I feel... I feel sorry for Sonny. Why? Because it's his loss. If you really are his child, or even if you aren't, he'll never get a chance to know you. See how brave you are, how loyal you are. Yeah, well, if I'm so great, I mean, how come my father doesn't want to have anything to do with me? I don't know. Maybe there are things about Sonny that we don't understand. Maybe he's scared. What? He's lost a lot. A lot of people around him have died young. Like my mother? I think that's something that you should talk to him about sometime. But no matter what goes on with, with Sonny, that shouldn't change who you are. Or how wonderful you are. Yeah, like I'm, I'm really wonderful. You are. Good at this girlfriend stuff. I shouldn't have lost her with one. You're right. You shouldn't have. Would you believe me if I told you that I, did, I didn't mean to? That what? That I intended to just, you know, say to him that I was glad he was okay. Well, then why didn't you? Because, because he, you know, he started talking about wanting to prove himself. And all I could see was him lying in the hospital, you know, hooked up to, to a machine. And I got a temper. And when, when I don't want to be around anybody, it's for their own sake. Are you afraid you're going to lose your temper with me? I don't want to be turning over tables in front of you. I mean, I don't want to lose you, but then again, I don't, you shouldn't have to see me, you know, fighting with Juan, with Tagger, with anybody else. Sonny, maybe you and I should go away together. Just the two of us. What do you think? Uh, maybe you're right. I got, I got a, I got a place. It's a casino. It's, it's on an island right on the beach. You can always hear the surf. Flowers. You know by now. I'd go anywhere with you. The hospital. I was in a hurry, okay? For what? Be unhappy with me about something. Why would I be? Do you have any idea at all how to contact Luke? Do you have any secrets for me, Mother? They're about to be laid open. I'm taking Hannah to the island. You can't. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, at the top of their class, a list of America's best colleges, plus Joel Siegel's picks for best new videos. That's tomorrow on Good Morning America.